All right, well, I've heard from a couple people now that today's digits was hard. Apparently, this is the math puzzle um, where we've got a number at the top and it's the numbers we can use, and we're trying to create the number at the top with the numbers at the bottom. Um, we're gonna have five different ones we have to do. That's about all you need to know. So we're starting with 96. Uh, seems like um, this is probably not the best way to do it, but I'm gonna do five times two is 10, times 10 is 100, three plus one is four, 100 minus four is 96. Now the last time I did two things multiplied and then multiplied by 10, there was a 25 and a four that I could have done. Um, so there's probably a faster way that I missed, but it's just the first thing I saw. All right, so 161, uh, my first thought is like 20 times eight, but uh, we can do 20. Can we do eight? The problem is then we that gets us 160 and then we've got to do a one to get, so I don't really think that's gonna work very well. So we could also do, let's see, 25 times seven would get us 175. There is nine minus two is seven, five plus two is seven. So we can do 25 times seven is 175. Then we need 14, which nine and five is 14, but we needed, we needed the, the nine or the five to get seven. So, I don't know if that's very good. Um, I mean, 11 times 10 is 110, then we would need 51. We can get 50 easily. Let's see, that's not a multiple of three or nine, or two, four, six, not a multiple of five. Is it a multiple of seven? It is a multiple of seven. What would it be? Seven times 23? Ooh, seven times 23, right? Can we do, oh, but 23, yeah, to get 23, we need 25 minus two. Yeah, that'll work. We can do, we can do, um, or will it? If we do, right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Five plus two is seven. Uh, 11 minus 9 is 2, 25 minus 2 is 23, 23 times 7 is 161. There was probably a better way to do that, but it worked. There we go. All right. Well, 275, and we have a 25, so I mean, of course, I want to try and use it if I can. It would be, what, 11 times 25? So... 11, yeah, three, yeah, eight and three. Eight and three is 11. 11 times 25. There we go, easy one, okay. 355, okay, well, 360 is 40 times nine. Uh, we can get 40 and nine, yeah, that'll work. Uh, I don't know if it is the, the best way, but it will work. 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 times nine is 360. And then eight minus three is five. And we just subtract five from 360. And we used every number, which is kind of fun. All right, 404. This one is an error. Uh, <laughs> some of you will get that. Some of you will have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so, uh, I mean, 20 times 19 is 380. 20 times 20 is 400, obviously. That would get us to 380, and then we would need 24, which we've got 23 and we've got 25. So that's that's almost good. Uh, 20 times, well, we can do 20 times 20, and then, yeah, that'll work. Look, 11 plus nine is 20. 20 times 20 is 400. 23 minus 19 is four. And then we just add those together to get 404. There we go, all right, well, Interestingly, I think I had the most trouble with the second one, which usually they get harder as you go along, but I think I just didn't didn't quite think about it the right way at first and got stuck there. But anyways, there you go. That was the digits puzzle. So let me know if you did any of these different than I did, uh, which one you had the hardest time with, and which one you thought I used the most convoluted method to get the answer for. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles.
We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right. Who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220. Then we would need to add 53. 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go. 11 times 20, 220. 